the Albert Chapman Mineral Collection, distinguished by uniquely beautiful specimens unearthed from across Australia and parts of Africa and Central America, has called the Australian Museum home since 1995. And ever since, its shapes, sizes and colors have transfixed visitors, young and old. Some favorites among the collection are the opal pineapple with its thorny fruit-like surface, the peculiar hematite specimen, which has a black, bubbly exterior and a redocrosite crystal that looks a lot like a hard red jelly. The opal pineapple specimen. Image credit Carl Bento Australian Museum The hematite specimen. Image credit Carl Bento Australian Museum A lot of the mineral colors are very very intense, Ross Pogson, curator of the museum's mineral department, tells Australian Geographic. These minerals grow underground in the dark, yet they have these incredibly vivid colors and abstract shapes. Ross has worked at the museum since 1989 and was a close friend of the collection's namesake. When I visited Albert, I always asked him to show me his Bernanite specimen. It's not very colorful, it's a silvery mineral from Cornwall, and it was mined in the 1860s, Ross recalls. The miners called it cogwheel ore because the crystals had developed flat faces after going around the cogwheel. As for the visitor's choice, he says, many are taken by Chapman's specimen of crocoid, that bright orange mineral with long needles that you get from the west coast of Tasmania. Like Chapman's crocoid specimen, many of the crystals that make up the collection are considered the best specimens ever found. Albert started collecting minerals in Australia when there were very few mineral collectors about, so he managed to save some very beautiful specimens from the earlier mines, Ross says. Now, of course mines are commercial enterprises where the ore is crushed up to extract metal, so it's only by chance that many of these beautiful things are saved. The Redocrosite Specimen Image credit Carl Bento Australian Museum getting young people excited about minerals Ross says that Chapman's Mineral Collection and the programs offered to young amateur mineralogists by the Australian Museum have been critical to inspiring children to consider entering the bright and colorful field of mineralogy. Young children often bring me specimens to identify. I'll sit down with them and talk about the minerals, I speak quite passionately about them, Ross says. The museum also has a work experience program where year 10 students will come in for a week and spend a few days volunteering across the mineral department. The program has run for quite some time and Ross say he's seen his fair share of success stories. I've had several work experience students who have gone on to university and I like to think that I gave them a good helping hand along the way. One student came back and worked at the museum and is now a senior lecturer at the University of New South Wales Ross Pogson at the Gentle and Caves Image Credit Alley Downing Australian Museum The grand opening of the Westpac Long Gallery on 14 October, the Australian Museum will mark its 100 minute anniversary by opening the 200 Treasures of the Australian Museum exhibition in the newly restored Westpac Long Gallery. Ross is proud to say that the very spiky and delicate orange crow quad specimen will feature as one of the 200 treasures on display. Other treasures to be displayed will include the body of a preserved thylacine pup, tools from Sir Douglas Mawson's expedition to Antarctica and Australia's first bank note. Collaborating with partners Westpac and the NSW government as well as our donors allows us to bring this important exhibition to all Australians in a truly beautiful neoclassical gallery, unlike any other in the nation, says Kim McKay, director and CEO of the museum. The Australian Museum's natural science collections hold the unique fauna of the Australian continent, including many no extinct animals, while the cultural collections help us understand where we've come from and create a bridge to those living cultures today. The Crow Quad Specimen. Image credit S. Humphrey Australian Museum. To see more details about the opening of the Westpac Long Gallery, visit the Australian Museum's website. Read more.